entire atmosphere was charged by the rhythmic sound of beating drums. As I watched in awe, 300 men and women dancing to the beat of 100 drums. I was at Tura in the Garo Hills of Meghalaya, celebrating 100 Drums Wangala Festival with the locals. Hello friends, this is Amrita and welcome to our YouTube channel Offbit and Untold, where we usually take you to offbit places and tell you incredible and untold stories. Today I am going to take you to another exciting place in Northeast India, Tura, the land of the Garo people in Meghalaya, celebrating their annual Wangala festival. Have you been to Meghalaya yet? Let us know in comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a like, comment and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to encourage us to make more interesting videos like this. Wangala festival is one of the most important festivals of the Garo community in Meghalaya. They have been celebrating Wangala from time immemorial and the festival has now become the cultural identity of the Garos. Wangala festival is essentially a post-harvest Thanksgiving festival. The Garo people pay their gratitude and reverence to Mrs. Saljong or the great giver for having blessed them with a rich harvest for the season. A day ahead of the Wangala, the village chief known locally as the Nokma performs a ritual called Rugala. At Rugala, an offering of the first hand special rice beer, cooked rice and vegetables are offered to the giver. On the next day, the Nokma performs Sasat Soa ceremony which is marked by burning of incense at the central pillar of his house to mark the beginning of the Wangala festival. So where is Wangala celebrated? Wangala is usually performed in most of the villages of the Garo hills and also in places where the Garos have migrated like Assam, Nagaland and Bangladesh. While different Garo villages celebrate this festival, a grand celebration is arranged at Tura. Wangala is a time of festivities. The celebrations are usually held for three days. Music and dances are performed all through the day, signifying the end of the harvest season and beginning of winter. Young and old get dressed in their colourful costumes with feathered headgears and dance to the tune of music played on long oval-shaped drums. The third day is usually the most frenzied ones. It is the day for the grand performance of 100 Drums Wangala Festival. 30 dancers with 10 drummers form a group and there are 10 such groups. So a total of 300 dancers perform to the rhythm of 100 drummers. And this is something to watch in awe. I was totally enthralled by the performances. Have you seen such a spectacle before? Let us know in comments below. The first 100 Drums Wangala festival was organized in the winter of 1976 at Asanang about 18 kilometers from Tura. Since then it is being held every year without fail during the month of November. You can reach Tura from Shillong or Guwahati by night bus service. Sumos are also available during the day. Guwahati is nearer to Tura, so if you are not already in Shillong, starting from Guwahati is better. Apart from 100 Drums Wangala festival, there are a lot of attractions in Tura itself. I have just made a list of places that you can visit from Tura. Wangala festival is a celebration of the culture of the Garos in Meghalaya. The festival is a way to preserve and promote the tradition and cultural heritage of the community. I was blessed to witness such a cultural event so closely and I definitely made some friends for life. The Wangala dance is also performed at Hornbill festival in Nagaland. So did you find this video about Wangala festival interesting? Would you want to visit Tura? Do let us know in comments below. If you like this video, please like and share this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and do not forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Until then, goodbye and see you next week.